County on Super Tuesday, quite the upstate in Onslow County. Last week, a 21 year old college student beat out a 10 term incumbent in North Carolina's House District 14, which includes Jacksonville. News 12's Rebecca McGann spoke with him today and has why he decided to run for office. Wyatt Gable is a junior here at East Carolina University, but he could potentially be finishing up his senior year and graduate as he's representing part of Onslow County in the State House of Representatives. Wyatt Gable decided to run for the State House when he saw how the coronavirus pandemic was handled. And I just remember feeling left behind by everybody, like no one cared, so I just wanted to do something and make sure no one feels the way that I felt because I just want to help people and make a difference. At 21 years old, Gable and his team knocked on over 1,200 doors and made 1,400 phone calls across District 14, and the work paid off. He beat 10-term incumbent George Cleveland in the Republican primary election by just 95 votes. I reached out to Cleveland, but he declined to comment. People really appreciate you trying to earn their vote, so I think that was the biggest reason and just a contrast of modern just you know how modern society views politicians and then uh, I just want to say thank you to him for all of his years of service. Gable is set to graduate ECU in May 2025 and is planning a heavy summer schedule to lighten the load next school year. Should Gable be elected in November, he plans to focus a lot of his policy on education. Focusing on simple things like home economics, carpentry, auto repair, so students are prepared for the real world because modern day society teaches if you don't go to college, you won't amount to anything, which is not true. There's so many career paths you could take. Gable says he's gotten a lot of positive comments about his age, but here's what he has to say for those who think he's too young. Well, uh, we got a, a lot of, quote, experience in the White House, and that hasn't really gotten us anywhere, so it's more about the willingness to get things done and the energy to do it, and that's what I have. Now, Gable still has to get through the general election. He'll be facing off against Democratic nominee Carmen Spicer in November. In Pitt County, Rebecca McGann for News 12.